Iowa State Fair, you know, has been used as a measuring stick over the years by candidates who are seeking political office. Yeah, if you're going to run anything, you better come through the Iowa State Fair. Mm -hmm. Whether it's local, federal offices, candidates use the opportunity to talk with Iowans about who they are, why they're running. WHO 13's Zach Fisher reports on the first soapbox of the fair season. When you think of the Iowa State Fair, you may think of family fun foods like corn dogs or carnival rides. But as we approach an election season, the state fair is utilized by politicians to get their voice out there. Half the people in Iowa approaching retirement age with no pension or retirement benefits, I think it's a serious problem. But we can do things to help Iowans prepare for retirement uh, without costing us anything. The Iowa State Treasurer kicked off the Des Moines Register political soapbox at the Iowa State Fair this year with the future lineup, including candidates for Iowa's third district congressional seat, with Congresswoman Sidney Axty and State Senator Zach Nunn having time slots to speak. Deidre DeGier will be on the soapbox on a Saturday, along with another gubernatorial candidate, Rick Stewart, from the Libertarian Party. People at the fair say that it's good to see politicians in person. I think it's good to have them here so people can actually see them in person instead of just on TV and because you know when you're here they're here in person you know they're there's nobody like feeding them lines right, or something. Right, right. Other people at the fair don't mind seeing those running for office interact with people. One person cares more about policy than interactions. For policy we want somebody that actually tackles the issues that affect everyday Americans now like uh, the fuel costs, the inflation, that sort of thing. Iowans will get their chance over the next 11 days to talk to candidates face to face before the midterm elections this November. At the Iowa State Fairgrounds, Zach Fisher, WHO 13 News.